burnout. What does it actually mean as a business owner? Well, basically, it comes down to this. If you wake up and you go to your business and you're not excited about it anymore, you're burnt out. Sometimes this may happen because the business isn't making what you want it to, you're not growing as fast, maybe you have a competitor, maybe you have different issues with partnerships, geographic locations, maybe there's some health issues, maybe there's some personal issues going on at home. The list goes on and on and on. We've seen an uptick on this ever since what happened a few years ago. I'm not going to mention this video, but we all know what it is. With that said, if you're experiencing burnout, you have a few options that you can do. Number one, you can do absolutely nothing and just keep going the same path you're going now. Nothing is really going to change. You might get lucky here or there, but you're probably going to get the same results. <clears throat> Number two, you can just walk away. Close up shop, walk away, hand the keys to somebody else, or just basically say, you know what? I've had it with this. I'm burnt out. I'm done. And I'm just going to close the doors and walk away. The third option is you can offer it for sale. Somebody may want your business. Maybe they don't. But we won't know until we actually put it on the market and this will give you an idea if your business can be purchased by somebody so you can cash out and avoid that burnout. Now, there's a lot of things that go into a value of a business, but basically if the business is profitable and has a good source of income for an incoming owner, usually in the Tampa Bay area, you want to see a business making a minimum of 100000 a year to be attractively um, accepted in the marketplace for buyers that are looking to buy a business. Not saying that businesses that make less than that can't sell, but it's just rarer. Most people are looking for that amount of money when they're looking to purchase a business. So if you are burnt out, do something. You have to do something to get a result. Use one of the links below. Give me a call confidential consultation. Let me know what you have. I'll let you know realistically if it can be sold. And if so, roughly how much you could realistically expect to get for that business. Whether you use my service, any other broker service, or do something on your own, I'm here to help. Once again, use one of the links below or if you're listening to this on a podcast, you can go to LoboBusinessSales.com. That's LoboBusinessSales.com. Thank you and have a great day.